Grace to you and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm Sam Candler, the Dean of the Cathedral of St. Philip in Atlanta. I deliver our daily midday meditation for today, Tuesday, November the 17th in the year 2020. My meditation is titled, I Give Thanks for Those of You Who Give Thanks. My immediate family members have resigned ourselves this year to a separated Thanksgiving. We will not be together. Of course, it's a challenge every year, determining which child will go to in-law families and who will be out of town for us and for so many. Bug and I have three married children and now six grandchildren. Further, I have parents whom I want to visit and I have three married siblings I like seeing all of them, especially around Thanksgiving season. Yes, there are inevitable disappointments every year in the Thanksgiving arrangements. The Thanksgiving arrangements for the year 2020 are, of course, however, tremendous. Every one of us, it seems, with or without families, is planning a separated Thanksgiving. The wonderful urge to gather people together or to attend gatherings is sadly absent during this coronavirus pandemic. What do we do then, whether with people or not, what do we do about that particular typical Thanksgiving gathering exercise? You know, you know the one I mean. It occurs when we pause to ask our inner selves a thanksgiving question or the question the person then that is at the head of the table he that person asked the particular question someone everywhere will ask what are you thankful for this year what are you thankful for this year my immediate family asked that question this past Sunday. Knowing we would miss being together during Thanksgiving week, a few of us in the, in the Atlanta area gathered outside at a pasture for a Thanksgiving turkey sandwich picnic. We had agreed that turkey sandwiches on the day after Thanksgiving are just as good, if not better, than the Thanksgiving feast itself. So we gathered outside at a pasture under a pavilion type hay barn on a windy afternoon, 10 days ahead of time, 10 days ahead for that Thanksgiving turkey sandwich picnic. Outside in the wind, with no one sitting too close to anyone, we felt fairly safe. Still, who knows, during this 2020 year, the disappointments and losses, the anxieties and the worries and the calamitous diseases themselves have come crashing into us week after week. We bear up against one wave only to have another wave slam into us the next week. The waves, like demons, are legion social isolation in a pandemic, unease with political elections, online schooling, too many online meetings, social unrest, economic uncertainty, financial worry, then those regular annual sicknesses that are not COVID-19, and then the constant replanning and rearranging of most everything in our lives. Those of us still standing are tired, fatigued, exhausted. Right, the list of things that I am not thankful for is itself overwhelming. What could I possibly be thankful for during this year's Thanksgiving seasons? I have one answer this year. I am thankful for those of you who do give thanks this year. 
I am thankful for those around me who give thanks. It really is something else. It's wonderful, overwhelmingly powerful when I hear someone stand up at a table or speak out at a meeting, testifying of something they are thankful for. And it is happening. Last Sunday at our family Thanksgiving picnic, in many a church meeting, in conversations with friends, I have heard you offer thanks. And what a wonderful collection of thanksgivings we heard in last Sunday's online service. From our screens, we heard waves of thanks from our cathedral families and children, arranged by our cathedral staff, observing United Thank Offering Sunday. Thank you, thank you. It is your mere act of thanksgiving that touches me deeply. The simple act of thanksgiving is a generous act. Yes, the things for which we are thankful are themselves beautiful, family, friends, relationships, time, a job, peace, health, whatever. Those things are beautiful, but, but the act of thanksgiving is even more beautiful. It takes courage and grace to give thanks in times of disappointment and loss. I am so thankful for those of you who find that courage and grace. I am thankful for those of you who give thanks. Your example, your thanksgiving is providing strength and health and hope and grace for the world that is love. Thank you. Amen. Let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.